No construction vehicle is as imposing as a crane. Lifting capacities of almost 1,500 tons and tower heights of almost 250 meters are no problem. Due to the expansion of wind power, the giants are particularly in demand, but their extreme versatility is often overlooked. Best known is the tower crane. Due to its minimal space requirement, it's equally preferred for the construction of high-rises and wind power plants. The particular challenge for tower cranes is that they are erected very close to the wind power plant. During the installation of the wind power plant, the tower crane grows steadily. For the future, this means if wind power plants are being built higher, our tower cranes are growing too. In Germany, nearly a thousand new wind power plants arised in 2012. With that, Germany has taken over the leadership of Europe. Experts expect a global expansion, especially because, with wind, the world's total demand for electricity could be met. Therefore, the plants are getting bigger and more powerful. No problem for crane manufacturers. As with all crane applications, cost-effectiveness also plays a crucial role in the field of wind power. Technology has to adapt to this demand. We simply have to carry out a lift to lift up a heavy load to great heights to install the plant. But there is, of course, a lot around it. The crane has to be transported to the site, assembled, moved, and finally dismantled. Big plants are assembled, small plants are assembled with different systems. This must be planned and implemented cost-effectively. The LR11350 is one of the most powerful and highest crawler cranes in the world. The giant was developed by Liebherr. It is considered as extremely flexible, has a lifting capacity of 1,350 tons, and reaches a mast height of 228 meters. For transportation, it is dismantled into its components and moved to the site on low loaders. The erection takes about a week, there are only about 80 crawler cranes of this dimension worldwide, but they will not remain the tallest for long. There is no purely technical limitation regarding the height or size of the crane, the lifting capacity. This is entirely dependent on the requirements on the respective construction site. We have small cranes that are used as taxi cranes, driving several work shifts a day from site to site, operated by one man. We have tall cranes, sometimes on large construction sites for several months. The requirements related to the crane merely depend on the application, not technology. At the beginning of 2013, for the German Federal Republic, around 320 megawatts were generated with 76 wind power plants in the North and Baltic Seas. Experts expect a five-fold increase in German offshore facilities. New crane types are used on ships and working platforms, but also completely new techniques and materials are necessary and must be developed. The energy turnaround is stimulating the whole construction industry. BASF, for example, developed a special grout that hardens quickly and reliably, even at two degrees outside temperature and even under aggressive salt water. Masterflow 9500 increases the cost effectiveness of offshore wind farms because they now can be put into service earlier and the special grout guarantees a long life of over 20 years, like this, saving costly repairs. Also, the construction and machinery manufacturing concern Bauer, based in Schrobenhausen, regards the planned energy turnaround as positive for the order development. In the offshore sector, the company offers special drills for fixing the foundations of energy plants, such as a 23-meter-long pile element that was installed in 37 meters depth in the north of Scotland. In addition to underwater cameras and special constructions, helping to work accurately with underwater currents of up to 5 meters per second, special cranes are, of course, also applied on ships. But whether offshore or onshore, the energy turnaround will bring the construction industry quite a few orders in the coming years. All in all, the manufacturers of construction and building material machines don't expect an increase for 2013, but a constancy in sales of around 12 billion euros.